right here. Woo! I get a bread. I get a bread. Hi, your Gary. Ah, that's a good morning. Eh, uh -huh, auntie, you go lie by Gary. This Gary, if he so can wear, he go swell up. Eh, uh, auntie, you go enjoy him. You go buy, see, uh -huh, see this granola, that, that special made. Eh, uh -huh, and uh -huh, sugar. You go lie by. Eh, uh, auntie. Now, now, money, auntie. Auntie, the better one. Homemade. Auntie, they go. Baby, what happened? Are you not going to the shop again? I'm not going anywhere again. Uh, why? What happened? Look, I just want to go inside and sleep. Maybe when I go outside again, my, my eyes will see better sights instead of all that rubbish I heard and saw outside. Um, baby, what are, you, what are you talking about? I am talking about this! We call a house! And this sickening area you brought me to come and stay in! I mean, look, it's 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 Monday morning. Let us not start the week like this. Clarence, okay? Clarence, you need to get me out of this house. You need to get me out of this of this area and give me a better life before I go crazy. Okay. Please, Clarence. Uh, I'm not try what kind of life is this I am living? Why is my own story filled with sad tales all the time? If only God had warned me that I was marrying a lazy man for a husband, I would have run away. Look at my mates driving big cars. And I am here taking care of a stupid shop. Bros, oh. don't touch me. Don't you dare touch me. Ah, what do you want now? Leave me alone, Joe. What is it? What's the problem? All day you've been carrying a long face. What is the problem? Wait. Wait. Are you not tired of this misery we call a life? No, seriously, are you not tired? Wait, what, 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 what is even wrong with you, Seth? Huh? Listen, Clarence, I am talking about everything around and about us. Look, we are both young people. We are here acting like we are old and we are about to die. Oh, so I see this, your behavior is because of this moving to the island thing, huh? I want to move to Lekki, Clarence. And what makes you think that there are no poor people in Lekki? Let us come stay here in Yamakmaja where we are we're like kings. We pass, they greet you. Hey, madam, how are you? Hey, you're going home now. It's not better than most of Lekki people will now be like slaves. Look, Clarence, there are poor people in Lekki. But they are the ones taking care of all the rich people. Look, let us move to Lekki and get closer to all the wealth and riches and collect our own share now. No. No. And do you know why I say no? Because we do not have the financial muscle to make it happen. Yeah. We are not spirits. Really? Yes. Okay. No problem. I hear you. They listen. Don't you ever, did you hear me? Don't try to even touch me because I cannot bring children into this world knowing that they will live in Yanopaja instead of Lekki. You? Don't touch me. Who wants to touch you? Don't touch me. Lie right down there and sleep. When Konji holds you, you will turn and touch me. Which Konji? Oh, no. We will see who the real Konji will go here. Let's wait and see. Now. No problem. Let's wait and see. No problem. Let's wait. Vera, mind yourself. Mind yourself. Don't touch me.
luxury apartment on the island. Expensive new car. Mm-hmm. New wardrobe. New and expensive phone. iPhone 11. Do you know how much iPhone 11 is? 700,000 naira each. Come on, just read everything. New office for hobbies business, new shop for me, an expensive mall, Every, everything. Baby, no, no, come on, this is, this is ridiculous now. Hey, okay, what do you think about everything? I am. I think this is a very unrealistic list. But. But. Just because I love you and I'm tired of fighting with you and nagging, you're nagging and ignoring me, and when I touch you, you push my hand, or I can't even call to you anymore. I will, I will, I will accept it. Because my benefits can come back. Mm-hmm. Okay, listen, babe, look. Moving to the island, listen, moving to the island is going to help us mix with the creme de la creme of the society. The celebrities, top politicians, and even ex-army generals. Look, these are the people that will constitute the clientele for your business. And they are going to bring in business that will generate millions of Naira. Well, look, I'm, I'm just worried, okay? Look, do you know how much we are bringing in here? This apartment costs 300,000 Naira a year. Now, you're telling us to move to an apartment on the island that I'll be paying 1 million Naira a month. If you do your maths well, it's just, just a little bit of a quarter of our yearly rent here that we'll be paying over there. Now, this is 12 million Naira a year. It's too much for us to handle right now. Okay, look, babe, listen. I know, I understand what you're saying, but then listen, think about the perks we're going to be enjoying living on the island. Check this out. We're going to enjoy 24-hour electricity, 24-hour water supply, 24-hour top security, and most importantly, babe, 24-hour access to top wealthy people, both Nigerian and expatriates. Think about that. I'm just concerned about the leap from 300,000 Naira to 12 million Naira. It is a lot. It is, yes, a lot. But babe, come on now, look at where we are. This is Iyanopaja. Iyanopaja. You cannot compare Iyanopaja to, to a place like Caviar Estate on the, on the island. No. Check out their names now. They don't even match. Yanopaja. Then the other one is Caviar Estate. One sounds like one herbal medication on the streets. And then the other one sounds like somewhere in the UK. You cannot compare the two now, babe. Check it out. Come on. I, 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 I respect your faith. I mean, faith is a good thing to have. But this is just a little bit way too much. We are abusing this faith of a thing. We we'll take the faith. We can take it a step, just a little bit above where we are now. But like you're going from from Nigeria to to Asia. Babe, babe, listen. Look, this is what is going to happen. We are going to sell all our household items. No, listen. We don't even need them. Look, all the apartments. Most, in fact, most of the apartments on the island are already fully furnished. So we we'll don't need to buy anything there. And then we're going to take out loans. To help us, you know, buy other things so that we can stay comfortable. But guess what? I can bet my life. I can assure you that in one year time, we'll be able to, you know, pay off all the debts that we'll incur in moving to the island. And then we'll be able to fully, you know, consider ourselves millionaires by then. Babe, you have to trust me. Babe. <laughs> Vera, is this you? This is no, me. I think I'm dreaming. <laughs> like it's me now. We haven't seen like three years. Yes, we haven't. So is that why you've not even bothered 
to call me even once, Mike. See. See, so now you've made all this money and you've forgotten about your girl, V. And you just forgot about me like that and dumped me. V, you, you blame me? You that I call severally and you want me to stop calling you when you met that guy that you, you, you let her married? <laughs> I had to lose your number. And then do you also blame me? Come on. I had to put you away. I'd already explained to you that I was in a serious relationship with someone I was planning to settle down. Well, <laughs> I'm happy to see you. So same here. And I know you didn't just come here to look at my face. So what brought you? <sighs> Mike, look. The thing is, I really need your help. And I would really appreciate it if you don't turn me away. Please. Okay, so what's the problem? So, Bay, mm -hmm. I got us the best deal of the century. So, our new car is going to be delivered to us in exactly two weeks from now. <laughs> okay, all right. So, how did you manage to make this happen? Well, um, I met one of my old secondary school mates who owns a car dealership on the island. So, mm -hmm. he accepted to take my offer of the old car. For the new one. Wow, 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 wow. Well, God bless him. I mean, it's, it's rare to find someone that would do you. this kind of thing at this age and time. So, what kind of car are we talking about well, for us? It's a 20th century model, let's say 2018 model. Yeah. Uh, 20th century model, 20. 2018. <laughs> How much is this 2018 car that we are talking about? Well, it is 28 million naira. Jesus Christ. What? 28 million naira. Yeah. 28 million naira. Vera. What are you talking about? 28 million naira. We're going to finish paying for the, the, the house rent of the house we're about to move into, which is 12 million naira. Now, twenty. Vera, you're, you're a little bit too calm about this. Are, are you sure you're not touching some money somewhere that I don't know about? Because I am, I'm beginning to, you know, question your your your, your mood. Look, babe. You know, before we got married, I promised to love and want the best for you and I, and that hasn't changed. And I know that I will go to my grave loving and wanting the best for you and I. Fine, and, and I appreciate everything that you have done for this marriage okay. for the past three years, everything that okay. we have done. But Vera, this is, this is this is Let me finish before all your, you know, let me explain everything about this whole deal with the car. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, calm down. Jesus Christ. Anyway, you see, our old car will go for three million naira. So we're going to use that money as deposit for the new car. And then we're going to be paying 5 million naira for the next 5 years to complete the car payment. Isn't that the best deal ever? There is nothing good about this deal that you just mentioned. 5, five million naira! Do you know what 5 million naira is? We haven't finished paying for the 12 million naira for the rent that we're supposed to move into the new apartment. This is 17 million naira we are talking about. Jesus Christ, bro! What is going to you? Yeah, what are you doing again? I don't do yes. I am scared already. My, my mind is telling me this is a bad deal. Scared? Yes. Wait, did you say you're scared? I'm scared, yes. Listen, being scared is a lot of poor people. But being rich requires you to grow some balls and take risks. Well, I have balls, first of all. And this oh, is not please, a risk. Oh, please, please, listen. It is risky. It is serious no, of risk Clarence, that listen. I'm not willing to take. Clarence, this is why we're neither here nor there. We're just here being poor. We've been married for one night. <sighs> Two, three oh, years. But look at no, our condition. No, we are not poor. Correct yourself. We are not poor. Okay. First of all, I we have a roof that I'm able to put above our, our head. Your your your, your dressing. I, I I provide food on the table. Clarence. So we are not poor. We are doing okay. Clarence. We are better than a lot of people in this society in, in, in this place. Clarence, look, with our situation right now, I cannot get pregnant and bring in children with this poverty thing we are going through. Okay, I cannot do that. I cannot be poor and bring children in this condition. No. Yeah. Listen. You know what? When you are ready to grow some balls, yeah, 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 I'll be ready don't, to take risks. Don't even try I'm not out, out on me. Nah, uh -uh. Don't even oh, try out. Vera, you want to buy a car of 28 million naira 
and all you have is 3 million naira. Is this a joke or something? Mike, I am not joking. Please, I really want you to help me out here. Listen, all I'm asking is for you to spread out the payments and we will meet up with that arrangement. That's all. That's all I'm asking. <coughs> v, let me tell you. All you need is a bank to give you a loan. Then you can discuss the terms of payment with them. I run a business here and it's cash and carry. Mike, come on now, for old time's sake. You know how the banking system is. We'll not start asking us to contribute some sort of 30% contributions. But we don't have that kind of money. Mike, please, I really need you to help me out here. You're, you're, in short, you're all I have right now. Please. Hey, you know I like you. If it was easy, I would do it for you. This is a business, and you're asking of a high-end car. Please, come on. Please, I'm sorry, I can't help. Mike. Mike, please, no. Please. Mike, please. I'm really sorry. Anything at all. And please, Mike, I'll take anything. Anything. Hmm? Mike, I'm really sorry. Baby. Look, Clarence. Is it, is it okay if we can at least just talk? Just, just leave me alone, Clarence. Please, leave me to sit and think about how I happen to have a, a man who does not have any balls to take any risk. Like, I'm just, I'm sorry if I sound pessimistic. I'm just worried and scared of us digging ourselves into depths that we cannot handle, that's all. Look, there is no need for us to talk about this anymore. In fact, just forget about everything I said. It's fine. It's okay. I am prepared to stay here to see how this our state of poverty is going to turn out. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe it's not fine. Clarence. Yes. What if I told you that my realtor friend promised to sway us an interior decorating contract worth 40 million naira when we move into the apartment? 40 million naira? <laughs> are you serious or are you joking? Hold on, I'm not even finished. What if I also told you that she promised to make us the sole interior decorator for their company? I am talking about a company that has over 30 apartments and 11 estates in Lagos alone. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I mean, this is what she should have told me since. Mm. Yeah, this is what she should, 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 should have told me. Well, I was just trying to see if you were ready to leave this state of poverty and embrace being a multimillionaire, but you're just pushing all my efforts oh, to my why? I want to leave because I've left already. See, if you told me these things, by, by, by now, I would have been on the same page with you. That I would never doubt you again. Mm. Will I see 40 million in this 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 Yana Paja? It's not possible. Babe, like I said, let's just leave the matter now. Let's continue to stay mm. here and struggle mm. for the rest of our I'm lives. Not anything. We are moving to Lekki. Okay? In fact, the way I'm feeling right now, eh? I think we should name our first daughter Lekki. Yes. <laughs> I will say that our first child is going to be a it girl. It will be a girl. She's mm. going to look like you and act mm -hmm. like you. <laughs> yes. Let me check the door. Uh, hold on, who's there? Okay. Yes, hold on. Ah, I want to get you. Hey, How are you? Yes, sir. Yeah. Please, I want to see your wife. Uh, okay. Let me get her for you, huh? Alright. Uh, baby? Mm-hmm. Uh, my mind is cheese outside, huh? Okay. Ah, my sister. Mama <sighs> Kichi. Hold on. Please, I came to beg you. I don't know if you have anything at all, any food at all in the house so you can give to me and my children. That my useless husband did not even give us any money for food. He has left. Please. Okay, just give me one second. I'll be back, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Mama, 
Makiji, mm. I don't have any food in the house right now. But my husband gave me this 1,000 naira to 1, give you. Yes. Take it, use it and buy food for you and your hey, children, okay? Thank you. Your husband is a very good man. Hi, your husband is a very nice man. Not like that, my useless husband I married, that monkey. All that monkey knows is just how to impregnate me. Eh? Look at me. At my age, I have five children. Five children. Market ah. is okay. Go and get food for your children to eat. Thank you very it's much. Okay. God will bless your husband. At Thank least he's a man. He's better than that, our uh, that useless neighbor, Mr. Sam. Which all he knows how to do is just to go and, you know, carry all those pros. Mama, it is is enough now. How about just go and buy food for your children so they can eat? Hey! Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let me go and prepare Eva and soup for me and my children. Before that, my stupid, useless husband, eh, will come and start beating me. Mama, eh? Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All oh. right. Bye bye. Thank you. Baby. Baby, what's the problem? Hasn't she gone? Babe. We need to leave Iyan Okpaja right now and move to Leki. Because I cannot continue to contend with people like this anymore. Okay. Well, what's your problem? <sighs> please. I'm tired of this, please. Um, I must say, you, you you guys have an amazing place. Yeah. I mean, this one, the other one we saw over there, mm -hmm. you have beautiful buildings. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I, I'm even confused now on which one to choose. <laughs> Aww, we are the best at what we do, real uh, yes. estate, on the island and even outside Lagos. So, for sure, we'll give you the best. Yeah. Don't mind my husband. He thought I was joking when I was telling him about the quality of your estate. Uh, you don't and won't have any issues living here. <laughs> I mean, we have two former governors, three currently seven senators, not to talk of celebrities and superstars. I mean, you have no problem. Oh, wow, 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 wow. wow. I mean, this is exactly what I want to hear. <laughs> You're speaking to my conscience. Yeah. <laughs> well, wow, I mean, it is nice to hear things like this, you know. Mm -hmm, I... Uh, I was meaning to tell you something. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, um, my wife told me about um, your intention, your good intention to introduce me to your boss, uh, your chairman, uh, <laughs> um, me being the official contractor, you know, mm -hmm. your decorator of his, for his company. So um, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And God bless you. You're welcome. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> and everything is going well in that regard. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, oh, what's Sorry, yeah, uh, just a, a little, little, little thing. Okay. You know, uh, is it, is it possible that you can just, um, you know, uh, push him a little bit, just a little bit, you know, just to see if he can land some contracts, just to help facilitate you paying the rent for the, 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 the before moving here. Oh, yes, just to help us with the rent, you know. No, that's not possible. I mean, the reason why my boss is considering giving you the contract is because, you know, I told him that you guys are going to be a resident here. Okay, all right. Um, no problem. I mean, yeah, we would um, see what we can do about yeah. it. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's good. So you guys should make payments as soon as possible, right? Good. Look, that will not be a problem at all, okay? Good. We're That's going to I make payment and it's going to be very, very soon. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Okay, so I'll be expecting that very soon. All right. All, all right. right. Thank you very and much. And you, you too. Have, have a good time looking around. Have a view. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so we have solved the TV, the radio, sofa sets, AC, dining, and the car. So now everything amounts to 1.2 million naira. We have 1.2 million naira from oh all the things yeah. we sold. 1.2 million naira. Hmm? <sighs> 1.2 million naira. You know, if you remove this point now, it's 12 million naira, which is what we need. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. One and two million, twelve million. For my calculation, what we need for this lucky moving is 10.8 million naira. That's a lot. <laughs> can I advise? Okay. If I can advise, you know, you can use this 1.2 million and buy new furniture back for the palo and buy a fridge for the kitchen. If you ask me, you, you know, but Clarence, it's, eh? what's this now? Listen, I don't want any negative vibes from you. Please, I beg. Only positive oh, vibes. Sorry. Ah, you have to believe that this thing is going to work now. It's okay. Sorry, yeah. Oh. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Think about it every night and day. Touch my wings and fly away. Hey. We don't have a lot of money to invest on the landed properties now. <laughs> Besides, my husband and I, we still have a lot of properties that we're still developing. <sighs> okay, um. Anyway, thank you for everything, okay? Just reach your husband for me when he comes back from his trip. Sure, I will. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Reach your husband too for me, right? No, yeah, he will, yeah. Take care. All right, take care, okay? God. It's getting so difficult to get this money. <sighs> Clarence cannot find out that it is really this hard to find this money. Otherwise, he will just back out of this whole arrangement. Oh, Jesus. What do you mean now, now? <sighs> Hello, Mike. Yes, the deal is still on. Like I told you before, I am ready to do anything. Anything. Okay, where are you at the moment? All right, I'm coming to the office right away. Okay, all right, see you later. Bye. Please, my dear. We can't do this here. Someone might see us and tell your wife. V, don't worry about my wife. Eh? She's in far away right here, where she's doing her masters. What do you want me to do now? Baby. V, make me happy. Let's have sex here. You know, not in my inner room, you know, in my inner office. My. See, just take me to a hotel. That's better. Yeah. Hotel. I spend more money. Nah. Okay, you know, we'll make a sense. After agreeing to give you a 28 million naira car for you to pay in installment, you still want me to spend more money at the hotel. We're going to need gold. See. Yeah. Come on. We're back from school. Nobody will know. It's just you and I. 
Your husband wouldn't know. My wife. Do this thing. One. the front door open. I mean, what if someone comes inside when you're still in here? Well, there's nothing they can steal in the parlor. There's no furniture there unless they want to steal light bulbs. Besides, I don't want to stand up when you come back. Okay. <sighs> okay, babe. Look at my face. What do you see? What do you expect me to see in your face? Still the same old face. I'm not in the mood for all this jokes right now, okay? Wait. <laughs> you got the money for rent. Ta da! How? How? Okay, well. You remember that my old friend who lives in Denmark? We went to the university back in the day. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Right. Her husband is a heart surgeon in, in the UK. So she said she was going to wire me the money in three days' time. I remember her, yes. Uh, wait, but what did you tell her you needed the money for? Well, she had always wanted to have plots of land when she returns to Nigeria. So I told her that. I have some good plots of land available going for 12 million naira and she was so excited she's ready to wire the money in the, in the next few days. Great. So that means that officially we are now serious debtors. <sighs> Babe. Remember we already have a 40 million naira contract waiting for us when we move into the apartment. Come on, babe, I've been the one running up and down, trying to make our dreams a reality. Each time God makes a way for us like this. God. God. So you think this is God's doing, right? Yeah, it is. Do you know the number of people I went around asking for help? She was just the only person who offered to help. That, in essence, is God's plan. Babe, all I need is your support. Thank you very much, Mr. Mike. Um, I really do appreciate everything that you're doing for my wife and I. I mean, she said a lot. Not everyone will do this. And I guarantee you, we are going to meet up with the payments as, uh, as agreed, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, she's an old friend. Anything to make her. And as for the payments, I know you will. Thank you very much. But guys, can you guys just continue with these discussions after I must have picked up my car? Fine. The lady wants to pick her car. Please make your choice. Okay. <laughs> Hmm, let's see. <gasps> this one, this one right here. I like this one. Really? Yeah, but oh. I want it in an ash color, yeah. Ash? Yeah. Okay, I think I have ash. Hmm? It's in my other color. Oh, really? I will just deliver it to you. Ah, oh nice. my God, it looks very nice in metallic mm. gray. <laughs> You like it, yeah? Yes, I do. Right. Um, I think we get inside and finish up the paperwork. Yeah, sure. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. So, this is another of our apartments available for yearly rental. It's a three bedroom apartment. You want to see the bedroom? We are taking this one. 
Um, I thought you said you wanted the first one I showed you. No, 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 no. We are taking this one. This place is exquisite. This is just the perfect place for my husband and I. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, I mean, if my wife likes it, then we're taking it. Okay, cool, but um, there's a slight, you know, difference in the rent. Yes, so this goes for 1.5 million Naira monthly. Why now? Why is it much more expensive than the one before? Well, this is the hottest block in our apartment. It houses five top citizens, senators, not to talk of celebrities. So that's why it's more expensive. Bekemi, please, you have to do something for us now. You're my friend. Help us out now, please. Okay. Okay. You know what? You know what I would do for you? I would let you stay here for one year, but next year is 1.5 million per month. Agreed? Agreed. You sure? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much, Kemi. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> okay. Um, also, you have an additional 300,000 naira surcharge. Yes. That's for security. 300,000 naira? No, um, baby, look, at this point, we don't have money again. We have we have run out of our spare cash. Baby, no, I think we should just... Sir, 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 excuse me. The security you're going to enjoy here is second to none. 300,000 naira is too much. No, you know what? We are going to pay, okay? okay. We can make a transfer in like two weeks, two weeks right? Yes. So, I'll leave you two together. Right. Thank, you nice so nice to thank, thank you so much. Thank you, Camps, Camps. Thank you, thank you. All right, oh then. My God. Babe, let's go see the master bedroom. Let's go. Hey, where are we going to get? 300,000 naira in two weeks. 300,000 naira. We are here already. Everything else will take care of itself. We are not here already. 300,000 naira is a lot of money. Look, baby, sometimes maybe God is trying to talk to us and you're not listening. Maybe, maybe, maybe we should just go back. Eh? Iyanokpaja. Please, let's go upstairs, I beg. I'm not going back. Let's go. Hey. Who am I seeing? <laughs> Is this Vera? Or someone else? Ah, Mama Kechi, it's me, oh. Yeah. Why are you acting like you just saw a ghost or something? Vera, hmm. my sister, Vera. Yes, hmm. so. <laughs> You're just looking like somebody who just came back from abroad <laughs> and by abroad. Hey, I'm not talking about the same abroad my useless husband went to and was deported, though. I am talking about really abroad that people will go to and come back with plenty, plenty money. <laughs> My sister, Vera, you are looking for fabulous and fantabulous. <laughs> Mama Kechi, please don't burst my intestines with laughter, please. I just came back to pick up some, you know, small, small bags we left behind before we moved out last week. Mm. So, my sister, it is true. Yes, so. So, you and your husband are finally packed up from this house. Mm hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Yes. So where are you living now? Oh, my dear, we now live in Lekki, on the island. Lekki? Mm-hmm. Lekki? Yes. Where rich people and famous people live? Hmm. Hmm. My sister, you are lying. Eh? You are lying to me. Why would I lie to you? Babe, we live in an exclusive estate on the island. My sister, mm -hmm. do you know where people were busy? Packing your things, selling your properties. We thought people were going back to the village. Village? Mm. Gosh, no! My husband won a multi-million naira contract. That's how God blessed us overnight. Mm. Yes. Mm. My sister, mm. why would God bless your husband? <laughs> eh? When your husband have a very good heart. Abiel. Not like that, my stupid, useless husband. Ha, I really wish your husband was here. So talk some sense into his head. <laughs> ah, Mama Kechi, it's okay. Everything is going to be fine. Don't worry. Let me just go inside and pick up those things, eh? <laughs> so, eh? Can I see you when you're going? Hey. Mm, I don't know, but why? 
I'm going to my friend's place, so I just want you to drop me so I can enter inside that your fine car. <laughs> Mama Kichi, you want to enter that car? Mm. That car? Mm. Let me tell you something, eh? You see that car there? <laughs> you know, people like you now, people like you, you'll not really be able to cope in that car. You'll fall sick. Oh. Sick? Yes, because they ain't see from there. You know what? Let me let me look for some money and give you to take some Okada. You know, you'll be used to it. So you can receive, you know, natural breeze, eh? Yeah. Yeah, let me see. Um, do you have 100 Naira then? Hmm? Do you have 100 Naira? Ah. 100 Naira? Yes. Mm -mm. Ah. Eh. Just manage this one, eh? Take. <laughs> Manage it, eh? Okay. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. Makichi, before I forget, I, I don't know how you guys are still coping in this place, so look, that's okay. Wait, tell your landlord now. Everywhere is just thinking and smell. Do you want to fall sick? Uh -uh. See, I'm telling you this because I like you. So try and talk to him to fix this okay way now. Ah, this place is smelling, eh? But anyway, I'll see you later, eh? Oh. Hey, take care, eh? Oh. Mm, bye bye. <laughs> Bye bye you. <laughs> wow. <Yes>. Wow. <laughs> wow. Now that's just a wow. Very fast and reliable internet. <laughs> wow. I'm telling you. What? Uh, what? How did you do all this? I mean, this expensive apartment <laughs> and the new car that your wife is driving around town. How did you do it? Well, uh, let's just say a day of hard work and <laughs> God's blessings. Did, did you just say hard work? God's blessing. Come on, man. Come on. You should tell us what is really going on. Huh? <laughs> tell us now. Share all of us now in the they all soon. Just a few weeks now, and look at the house you're living in. And the expensive car you're driving. Huh? Come on now. She the hard work be down one. Alright. You know what? Let me let me let me break it down for you guys, okay? Now, we sold virtually everything that we owned. And then we borrowed some money and added up. And this is what you have. For the car, we're paying five million naira every year for the next five years to so this company this is what they're doing in the states you know it's just wisdom really? <laughs> yeah. well from the little that you have told us i gather you owe a lot of people money in this tight economic situation that we all are facing in this country how well you seem to forget something see look you you forget something while you were walking into this estate, did you see the kind of cars that were parked outside? Yeah, yes, yes. What kind of houses. You couldn't even see the people. But I live around the movers, the shakers of the society. Millionaires and billionaires. There's no how I live around people that have this kind of money and I won't have that kind of money. What are you trying to say is that? Just because you live among millionaires makes you one? Oh no. What I'm trying to say Talking. is... I have sent in proposals of my interior decorating job to all my neighbors. And a few of them are beginning to pull through. Now when I talk about projects pulling through, I'm not talking about 500,000, 1 million, 2 million, even 10 million. I'm talking of hundreds and hundreds of millions. Really? Uh, but Clarence, uh, I am... Um, no worries. Let me, let me land. <laughs> let me land. Look, we've suffered enough. We've been on that mainland for too long, hustling. And what do we get in return? Peanuts. Peanuts, money that we cannot use to do anything. So I decided upon myself, I would move myself and my wife out of that poverty, out of mainland. I bring her 
to a place where riches are bound, where we have billionaires, millionaires. We are around the movers and shakers of the society. And watch it unfold. That is my little fate. You know, I think we should leave this talk for now. You guys should come and sit down and let me treat you guys. Hey, look at Clara, so fresh and look at I just, 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 Since we moved to the island, you keep going back to the mainland almost every day. I mean, I, I, I thought the idea or the plan was for us to leave the mainland, move to the island and start afresh. Well, yeah babe, but then I have to go to the mainland and show off to all these people. I mean, they're the ones who are going to spread our success story of us becoming millionaires. When is that going to be? When is that going to be? Since we moved to the island, we have not made any money at all. All we keep doing is spending, spending, spending. The money we came in here with is going down. We don't have money again. You just calm down. Don't tell, don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. What is Daniel Kahneman about? What? Who are you been doing is spending money? We keep spending money. We've not made money since we came into the island. We're running into debt for Christ's sake. We need to save. We're supposed to be saving money. There, we're supposed to be saving money. We don't have money again. That's the reality of things. Clarence. Clarence, please. I wish you would just trust me. <sighs> You need to trust me as I lead us into pure wealth. Just trust me, babe, please. I'm sorry. Do you, do you think this is going to work? Yes, babe. With all of my heart. I have no doubt about it. We are going to become wealthy. Babe? I stopped taking my birth control pills. I think I'm now ready for us to start making babies. Are, are, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm sure. I think it's time for us to start making babies. I know that. Babe, look, you can't drive inside. Why? Babe, you need to park outside so that everybody can see us. We need to announce our arrival. Yeah, I understand the need to arrive, but don't think that is too much. We're not parking and trek all the way to the house. Too much? 
Babe, this is lucky. This is the island. It has to be too much. Unless you lose the whole point. Huh. Everything has to be Let too me just much. park here. It is everybody coming in. You see the car. I'm wondering who has the car. <laughs> Oh, oh God. Babe, let me get us something to drink. Babe, babe, babe. Are, are you sure anyone has even as much as noticed us since we came into this place? Because since we came here, nobody has even said, come on, hi. Babe, listen. Look at the environment. Rich people don't go about visiting people anyhow. Unless it is someone they really need. But I mean, we have failed in our mission here because nobody is noticing us except those security men that still live on the mainland. Hey, you know what? Being here will help us out. Because we have to start out by writing proposals that is going to showcase your work as a great interior decorator. That way they will see you as a rich man and they will not prize you any cheap. Hmm. You know you're very smart. <laughs> Thank God I married a woman like you. Come here. <laughs> I'll be continue to remember that mm. when you become a lucky billionaire big boy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Say it again. I like it, oh, I like the way you say it. <laughs> Come in. Oh, baby, you didn't arrange the things we bought from... Uh... Oh, come in, come in. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hey, Hello. How are you? Hi. <laughs> um, my name is Catherine, and this is my husband, Sylvester. Um, we noticed you guys just moved into the estate, so... We decided it would be nice to come say welcome to you people. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm Clarence, uh, and this is my my beautiful angel. <laughs> I like to call her my angel. Uh, Vera. <laughs> let, let me just drop this. Thank you. Okay. Well, uh, it's really nice to meet the two of you. My uh, wife and I have just come here to uh, say hello, but not to take a lot of the time. Uh, so the wine there is just to um, to welcome you. Thank Very you. Right. This is so nice of you guys. But I am so sorry. I didn't cook anything. Oh. Yeah, we just had lunch earlier at the Lagos Lagoon restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my husband cannot do without his Chinese oh, food yes. every day. <laughs> my thing is, uh, like crabs. I love the crabs. Oh, yeah. Do you like crabs? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he so loves crabs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> something in, something in. Come on. Oh, okay, <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Um, I hope we make good acquaintance real soon, yeah? Sure, yeah, sure, sure. sure, sure. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> I, I hope we enjoy it down here. You know? Yeah, you will. It's a nice place. <laughs> yeah. okay. Welcome once again. Thank, thank you very okay. much. Okay. Bye. All right, take care. Thank you. Welcome again, yes? Thank, thank you very you. much. All right. Thank okay. you. Cheers. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. Yeah, ciao. <laughs> Uh, so how do you see living in this estate? Girl, everything is top notch. I mean, you know what? Even thinking about buying the apartment outright. Wow. Yes. Are you serious? Yes. You know when you're ready? Of course not. You'll call me? Let you know. <laughs> but Kemi, wait. So I want to ask you something. Um, it's about the interior decorating job for my husband. Right. That your chairman, you know, is supposed to give him. I mean, mm -hmm. how is that coming along? Uh, Vera, I told you I would speak to my chairman about it, which I have done. Let's just wait and hope, you know, that they will respond on time and give your husband the Yeah, contract. Kemi, I know. I understand all these things. I know that you're powerful enough to, you know, influence your chairman's decision to choose my husband. I mean, don't forget, you also have your court once that contract is signed. And then I've told you that I have spoken to him. Do you pray? Babe. Pray. That's all I do. I've been praying. Oh, so let's just wait. You know, things might turn out in your husband's favor. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, oh, Kemi, one more thing. Um, do you know this Mr. Sylvester and his wife Catherine? I mean, they came in yesterday to come and say hello to us to welcome us to the estate. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, you know. Yes, I know them. They are my clients. Very good. Very good. Um. What do they do for a living? Hmm. Vera, 
You what? know I'm not in the liberty to discuss my feelings with you. Hey, Kemi, calm down. You're my friend now. You, you have to tell me these things. I mean, but besides, they don't want to come into my apartment yesterday to say hi. So I just want to know, you know, mm. little things about them. That's all. Well, Mr. Sylvester owns his own oil servicing company. He said <laughs> lie. And then his wife, she runs an event management company. Biggest around here. Wow. My goodness, that anyway, is so nice. I need to go. You know, I told you, I have something important to do, okay? Um, can we wait, can we wait, 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 wait. One more thing. Um, look, here, see, just in case you see my husband and he asks you about the interior decorating job, just tell him everything is going on fine. Uh, why? I don't want him to panic, you know. Just, just tell him that everything is fine, okay? Okay. All right, I will. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you, darling. Bye. Bye. Um... Honey, where are you? I have good news for you. Please come down, honey. What is it? Happy news. Okay, I'm sitting down now. What is it? Okay. So. I met Kemi a few minutes ago, and she told me that we should get ready for the multi-millionaire contract from our chairman for your expertise as a company's interior decorator. Wait, 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 wait. Um, <laughs> are you serious about what you, what, you, what, what you just said? Why would I joke about something like this? I'm serious. Not really. <laughs> Babe, I'm serious. You're serious? I am. Oh my God. This is, this, is, this is actually the best news I've had all day. Listen, I still have more good news for you. Do you know that Sylvester and his wife are extremely rich? I mean, that's obvious. If, if he wasn't rich, he would be able to live in this estate. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You don't understand. They are not just rich, but they are super rich. Listen, Kemi told me that Sylvester is the owner of an oil servicing company and his wife is one of the biggest event managers here on the island. Biggest one on the island. You mean hmm. Sylvester and his wife that walked inside here like, yes. like that? Listen. Two more locomos. Yes, so. Listen, They're rich. Babe, listen. You know what? You need to start now. You prepare, start writing your proposals right now. Because these are the kind of rich people we are going to use to penetrate this lucky. Baby, baby, save your energy. Oh, Say no more. See, save your energy. In mm. fact, the way I'm beginning to picture these millions now, now I can see this clear picture. <gasps> the way I will spoil you. Oh. Baby, the way I will spoil you. <laughs> when sun touch your body, it will feel like snow. Mm. So, baby, you mean now we have a solid plan to clear up all our debts? Debts? You're talking about debts? Babe, you should be thinking and planning on how we're going to build our first <laughs> mansion. What is that? Millions of error. Say no more. Pat, let me start spoiling you. Let me go and cook something nice for you. Okay? <laughs> let me cook something for you. Come on. <laughs> Wait, so right now you mean the contract is on private? It's on the way. Future millionaires. Say no more. Future millionaires. Say no more. No. <laughs> you have given me the best news that anybody can give me today. Hello, Mr. Sylvester. Hi, Clarence. How are you doing, Miss Catherine? Very well, thank you. Yes, uh, how's your day going? Very well. And how's your wife? Well, my wife, um, you know, I'm, I'm building a mall in Victoria Island, you know, and mm -hmm. um, she went to supervise it. Um, I've been busy with work, um, sending her proposals. Uh, <laughs> that reminds me, I was meaning to talk to you about it. Um, you know, I'm into interior decoration, and uh, I would like to send my proposals to you, so I mean we can sure. do business together. Sure, why not? Why not? <laughs> There's nothing as good as neighbors doing business yeah. together. Yeah. Yes. Um, baby, yeah. what you saying? He can actually redecorate your office in Barrison and Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, yeah. Um, listen, Clarence. Um, uh, why don't you just give me your number? I'll give you a call later in the evening, and sure, we could sure, sit right. out and have a proper business meeting. Yeah, that'll be perfect. This is my right. card. Um, can I have the card too? Uh, I haven't got my card, but um, you know what? Okay. Let me just um. Send you my number? No problem. The number and um, email here is my office, so okay. I'll just give you my direct number and um, email so it'll make okay. work easier. Okay. It's uh, amazing, you know. Um, uh, 
uh, neighbors I'll that. Uh, yes. I'll just send you my email as well. You're fine now. <laughs> <laughs> my dear, my dear, see where you're going. Hey, this lady is good though. I'm telling you. Ah, I mean, it. who could have thought that people's stories would just change in the blink of an eye? That is why we have to thank God, honestly. Hey, <laughs> you are right. God is indeed wonderful. <laughs> eh? I mean, who could have thought that you and your husband were hammered so fast? Yes, now, Grace. You guys now live on the island. And not only that, oh, you also drive expensive cars, babe. Now, eh? Grace, let me ask you, wait, oh. Don't tell me you're amongst one of those people who think that we don't deserve to mingle amongst the rich. What's that? Why are you sounding like this now? Hmm. Eh? No, now, you know that's not what I meant. But, Vera, mm -hmm. were you not the same Vera that I borrowed? 10,000 era, ordinary 10,000 era, two months ago, to set up perfume and oil business. Uh -huh. Now you live in Lekki. My dear, they say change is constant. My husband is now a very wealthy man and all is well with us. Hey, no Wait, biggie. I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Mm. Now, wow. Hey, my dear, please help your sister now. Mm. Help me talk to your husband so he can give us little connect. Babe. Wait, are you sure you'll be able to cope on the island? Because you know, you've lived on the mainland all your life. So I don't know if you can cope over there. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> See who is talking to you. You that you were born in on the mainland and you lived all your life there. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you moved to the island now. No, yeah, what? Listen, my own life is different now. Me, I was born and meant to be rich and wealthy. Yes, mm. you cannot be comparing both of us now. Look at me. Mm. Vera, please. Where will I and my husband come to visit people? So, you know, we need upgrades too. Mm. We need upgrade. Oh, let me see. I'll just, you know, fix something up and then I'll talk to my husband. The only thing is he's very, very busy these days. So he's never really around. Mm. Don't worry, I'll work something out, okay? Trust you. Mm. I trust you, my <laughs> friend. Thank you very much. You didn't even tell me. What do you want? Are you sure you're okay? Babe, I'm fine, you know. <laughs> these things are going to give me stomach upset so i can't really you know now hey, no problem hey Vera, please hey. the the money you owe me when should i be expecting it tomorrow you know what i'll send you a transfer this night or first thing tomorrow morning you receive an alert are you serious hey! Hey! Oh, you don't have you don't have you don't have you don't have Baby, <laughs> the wife that God gave me, eh? the only one for me, eh? the wife that God gave me. What is going they on? This, okay. And step down. Let me drop this and come back. <laughs> Everything is going around. I can't feel everything turning around, it's 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 turning around, what's up, what's up, as you left today, okay, as you just left, I met Sylvester and Catherine, and guess what, guess what, yeah. <laughs> they want me, they want me, Yes, see, 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 she actually told him as if it was a spiritual thing. She just told him, Bella, I want you to give him the contract to handle the buy. Yes, sir. Oh my god, and the company. Oh my god, Karen. high rise company, not just small, small company in the mainland. High rise company. Oh my god, I am now the official. Everything has changed. Listen, baby, you know I've already exhausted all the list of friends we can borrow from because even the things I got, I got them on credit. Hey, 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 see, all these small, 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 small debts. Forget about it. I will handle it. See, even your father and your mother, your cousins. Oh, hey. yes, bring it. I'll I... play it. Oh my god, Clara, this is <laughs> good, though. This is really good. I was already thinking that we made a mistake moving to the <laughs> island all we did. <laughs> Mm. Uh -uh. There's no mistake here. Hey, it is a take. 
Baby, when I was in Yanabaja, in the mainland, in the low rise area, did I get any job outside Lagos? Hmm? No. I did not get any job that took me out of Lagos. But now, I'm getting a job in Bayelsa, in Port Harcourt. Even the one I got in Ireland that time, it's not Chugum and Guru and, and, and um, the money they, they gave me. Eh? But now, I'm going to be. Hey, my husband has arrived, oh God. I'm going to be the interior decorator. Oh, a CEO of an oil. That no, is my husband. I'm the same company in Nigeria. Lucky big boy. Go! We have landed. Woo! We have landed. Look, I can't. From here, Banana Island. Streets. <laughs> Streets. Mm. Oh my goodness, mm. this is great. Oh my god, thank god. Thank god. What's wrong? Who's that? All these poor boys, Chris, calling me to spoil my phone. See how I want to punish them. I don't see one. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. In fact, I need to bring you another bottle so that we step down well, completely. Yes, go and bring yeah? it. Baby, sit down. Don't, don't, don't stretch. Wait, now let me see the style. Hold Just... on. <laughs> uh. Yes. Yes. What do you less than that? Of course. Woo! Baby, tell me what you want to do Dubai? Dubai. America? What is it now? Oh. What's up, man? Oh, no, no, no. This is just... Let them get to stuff. No, no, um, I'm fine. How are you, man? Oh, on, man. Since when do you start rejecting an offer of a drink? Come on, let the waiter get you a bottle of beer now. Look, I don't come off as being rude, okay? But um, they can't have what I would want to take here. I don't take all that kind of stuff. I don't do beer anymore. Alright. <clears throat> so what do you think? <clears throat> well, if you really want to know, I do expensive wine, I do champagne, I do cognac. You know, beer doesn't cut it for me anymore. Okay. If you want to be rich, you have to think rich. All right. Okay. So why we invited you? Yeah. We have a new job. It is to decorate and punish a new company at Ogba. And they are paying us one million naira. And by our estimation, we'll be having between 300 and 400,000 naira at the end of this project. Wow, wow. That's a huge one. That's a huge one, right? What we'll do, we'll split whatever income that comes out of the project at the end of the project. You understand? Three ways as usual. And I will be sending you the... You know what? Let... Sorry, sorry to cut you off, okay? Let's just uh, skip this, okay? I'm not... I can't... I can't do this contract with you guys. Let me involved in it. Let me explain. I left the mainland because I don't want to find myself involved in talks like this. You know, things that would yield nothing and bring nothing to the table. Do you call that nothing? Of course it's not. We are talking about having a hundred thousand naira or more to ourselves. Exactly, and what is a hundred thousand naira? What is it? What am I going to do with a hundred thousand naira? Can a can hundred thousand naira buy a designer shirt, designer belt, even the perfume I use? No. I'm talking about deals that run into hundreds of millions. What's a hundred thousand naira, three hundred thousand naira? I can't be. Can I ask you this question, please? Yeah. What has gotten into you? Because this is not is you. Spirit of wealth and riches. That's what got into me. Sorry, I have a phone call. One of my client is calling me and he's actually someone has been getting a multi-million Naira deal on the table. One minute. Hello, Sylvester, how are you? <laughs> okay, uh, I'll, I'll be with you in a bit. All right. See what I'm talking about? I really can't be involved in talks like this. I, I, I wish you guys the best. Uh, I'm sure things will pull through for you guys, okay? Sure, we would. All right. Yeah, we would. I'll see you, man. All, all right. right, take care, I'll man. See you, bro. Take care. Sure. All right, bro. Be safe, all right? Be strong. Cheers. Just, just imagine this guy. Imagine, man, forget about him, bro. 
We're gonna do this deal. Forget about him. Forget about this guy, man. He's up. <laughs> I almost choked. In fact, I choked when he mentioned six million naira. Like six, 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 six million naira. Hmm. Little did he know that that was the first time someone would be offering a contract <laughs> worth such an amount. <laughs> all these people. You're yeah, the you thought that I was choking because the six million naira was too small. A hey, whole six million naira. Imagine. Yes, hey, go. <laughs> now listen, just imagine what he would offer you. Eh? If he gave you a contract to decorate and remodel his offices oh, in Port Harcourt and Bayelsa, imagine. I'll, I'll just faint, but I'll die. Hmm. My sister, I will just die. Who is your sister? Sorry, uh, I can't buy you. My wife, my wife, my wife. Okay, when is the contract going to start? Well, 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 um, tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. I'm going to sign the contract. Okay. And. Seventy percent for the starter. Ah! <laughs> Wait, what is the Good morning. Hey, Miss Kemi, how are you? I'm good. Oh, you look beautiful oh, today. Thank you. I'm Green amazing. looks nice on you. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes, 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 yes. You look good too. Thank you, Hi. thank you. I mean, getting... It's um, getting used to the island, uh, the soaking in the island breeze. You're enjoying the vibe. I yes, guess. yes, amazing okay. place. Uh, I've been meaning to see you since last week. Okay. I just want to remind you that your rent is expiring in four months' time. I mean, four months is still far, Kenny. This is so quick a notice. I know, but the policy here is we send you a text message six months before your rent expires. But you know, because your wife is my friend, I just just decided, you know, I'll just no, tell you. That's how person. it's done, yeah. Yes, okay, that's how yeah. it's done. Oh, fine, no problem. I would um, I will talk with my wife and we will look into it. Okay, that okay, shouldn't be a problem. All right, all right so um. Oh, so I'm not done. Yes, you have to make payments next month if you're looking at renewing your rent here. Next month. Yes. No, no, Kimmy, next month is by the corner. What, 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 what are you saying? Oh, that's company policy. That's harsh! It's company policy, sir. Okay, so... Okay, fine. Um, What about the, um, the, the, the what you promised me? You know, you promised that you are going to talk to your boss to, you know, swing favors for me to get contracts for, as the interior decorator of his company. Sir. How is that going? And have spoken to him, it's now left for him to, you know, make his own decision. Oh, no. Not mine. No, Kemi, Kemi you, you actually assured me, you assured me that you are going to, to push him to swing his decision in our favor. That's what you said. No, no, no. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's not what That's I said. That's what you said. What I said was, I'm going to speak to my boss, then he will make up his own decision. He will get back to me, and then I'll get back to you. That's it. Fine, no problem. I'll, I'll speak with my wife and we'll see what we can we can do. So I'll be expecting payment soon, right? <sighs> right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. All right, do have a good day. You too. <laughs> All right. Hold on, I'm coming. One second. Hey, babe. Hey, hey, Welcome. Hey. Mm. <laughs> How are you? Everything is signed, sealed, and delivered. Serious? <laughs> yeah, but that's not the best part yet. Tell me what's up. Awesome. The best part is. Best part is. Oh, tell me. You're out in my car. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Four point two million naira. In my account, just like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Who's the millionaire? Oh Who's God. the millionaire? Come on! Ah. Oh my God! Oh my you God! Know what? I want to go service your engine, baby. Really? Is it oiled up yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. so Let me show silly. you how the mirrors make love. It's gonna be different. I mean, you know, I think it's about time we change this car, you know, or get another car. Because um, we can't keep sharing this one. It's too much going on at the same time. Yeah. You know what? I think this car will remain yours, and then I'll pick out another car for myself. <laughs> what? <laughs> See, I hate. I hate. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyways, I would submit to your desires, my queen. Okay? Oh, thank you. Ah, my fuck. Hello? Hello? Okay, okay. I am on my way. Right, right away. All right. <laughs> what? What's up? Ah, you cannot even wait. <laughs> okay, he wants me to meet up with him at um, Noba Hotel okay. um, to have a meeting with a client. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's another bag. Wow. Look, baby, you know what? Just, just go drop me off at home. So you can go back and meet him up. No problem, you know, I need to go and meet my millionaire friend. Oh, okay. uh, and then you have dinner with your millionaire friend. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, baby. Mm. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> this woman again. Oh, Jesus. Hello, Grace. How are you? I'm not fine. I'm not fine, Vera. What is the matter? What kind of question is that now? Eh? What kind of question is that? It's been three weeks since you promised to pay me the money you owe me. Yet nothing. And you, 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 you ask me, what is that? Okay, listen, Grace, just calm down, okay? Look, I am just waiting for my husband to import the cars from the U.S. Listen, once the cars enter, I'm going to give you your money. Listen, I'm going to give you your money, seriously. I'm talking about my money. You're, you're talking about cars now. Eh? Will the car pay me the 42,000 naira that you owe me? Wait, 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 Grace. What are you talking about? Why are you talking to me like this? No, seriously, why are you talking to me like this? Because of ordinary 42,000 naira? You're shouting at me. You're shouting at someone who can make your life better instead of being humble and easy to deal with. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, let me finish, Grace. Let me finish. Am I not the one who told you that I'm going to give you a 100,000 naira dash so that you can stock up your shop? Yes, you did. Did I not also assure you that I am going to get my husband to get your husband one of the cars he's importing from the U.S. so that he can use it to start a taxi business with it on higher purchase? Yes, you did. Then why are you shouting at me because of ordinary 42,000 naira? 42,000 naira. You're shouting at someone who can change your life. Do you want me to get angry, Grace? Do you want me to get angry? Uh, it's not as if I, I mean to shout at you now. Eh? But, but Vera, my shop is empty. I need to restock. And you know the, 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 the situation in this country now. Eh? Well, anyway, listen, um, Grace, look, I understand all of that, okay? But then you have to be smart. Even when you don't have money. Look, okay, you know what? I promise you, I'm going to give you your money by the end of this week. Is that okay? Okay, I bet. Thank you. I I'm sorry if I shouted at you. Eh? I'm sorry. And please, don't forget all the promises you made to me. Of course not. Am I not your friend? I mean, that is why I leave the island and I come all the way to the mainland just to shop from you. I mean, come on, we rise by lifting each other. Oh. <laughs> yes, so, my dear. Thank you very much. Mm. Okay, take care, okay? Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, my friend. Poor people. Look at okay. So easy to deal with. Jesus Christ, poverty is a disease. My goodness. Ah! Oh, wow. Yes, come in. Hey, hey, hey my man. How are you, man? Welcome, man. I, I came as soon as you called me. Yeah. Oh, sit, man. Yes. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Yeah, great, 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 great. So, well, you see how it is, man. There's nothing serious going on here. Just, you know, me inviting you over. You know, two guys. Yeah. Sharing a few drinks and, you know, just being happy. Yeah, and uh, one of the clients you said I was supposed to meet, remember? Yeah. Let's start by having three first. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. It's never a bad idea to. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, is he coming so, um, around? Yeah, speaking about my friend, you know, he's um, actually a top executive, one of the huge banks. Wow. Yeah. And he told me in confidence that he was looking for an interior decorator to do like a huge multi billionaire deal in their offices. And um, I told him about you. Yeah. Which means that you know, like eighty percent to hundred on the job. So we will see him tomorrow, right? Sure. I mean, I'm hundred percent um, to go. <laughs> right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, enough of the um, 
you know, serious talk. Let's, you know, have drinks and be merry and just chill out as you know guys do. But I have a surprise for you by the time we're done here. Right. Yeah. So you mean that well, you know, I I had no surprises actually. For real? Yes, it's my favorite right thing in the world. Okay. Surprises. So <laughs> so why keep the surprise to when we're done drinking? Mm -hmm. When we get the surprise now? Oh, you're full of surprises yourself. <laughs> oh my bro. This is very nice. Uh, it's a Voila! This is dessert. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Wait, babe, hold on. So you mm. mean you don't cook at all? <laughs> cook? <laughs> Just look at me now. See, I don't even know how to use the cooker. Wow. Mm hmm. Hmm. Babe. That is it too. You know, as a wife of a millionaire. And I'm also a millionaire, so I don't have time for cooking. Ah. Well, yeah. I can actually understand that, you know. You know, back in the day, my mom used to hire a lot of chefs for us when we were little. So that's how I learned how to cook by watching them. Lucky you, girl. <laughs> I stayed overseas all through my childhood days. And I didn't even taste Nigerian food. I only got back to Nigeria when I got married to my husband. Can you imagine? Wow. Hmm. 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 Well, once the shipment arrives, you know, the one that my husband is expecting once mm -hmm. he gets here, I know I'll be very, very busy and I won't have time to sit around the house to cook food for my husband <laughs> and all that. But I know that he's going to understand, so hey. <laughs> Girl. That is how millionaires do. You know, mm -hmm. when you have lots of money, you, you won't have time to do some house chores. Of course. Um, <laughs> but that reminds me. Mm -hmm. Your husband said something about building a mall somewhere. Hmm. He did? Yes, he did. Why do you sound so surprised? Uh, well, um, uh, yeah, well, listen, really. We actually agreed that we'll keep this you know contract under wraps okay. until the whole thing is done completed and everything so i'm surprised that he actually mentioned it oh oh i understand my girl i understand you know millionaires we keep secrets a lot so there's nothing i understand well anyway <laughs> since you're practically family now oh yeah let me let you in on something oh please i'm all ears see him listen you see this shopping mall my husband is constructing mm -hmm. This is actually going to be the third shopping mall we'll be having in Lagos. Yes. Mm -hmm. Look, we already have two on the mainland and then this one. Then we are also involved in exporting foodstuff to the US and then to Europe. You know, things like that. I mean, it's... <laughs> wow. You guys must have loads of money. My dear, you can say that again. Wow. God is really, really blessing us. Ah, God is oh. really blessing you guys all. <laughs> wow. Um, where's your husband? My husband went out with your husband now for a oh. business meeting. Babe, don't mind me, I forgot. My husband actually told me that. See. So, since the guys are not around, what are we <laughs> going to do now? You know, we well, need to have some girls' time. Um... What exactly do you have in mind? Ah, uh -uh. let's have some fun now. Let's do something, you know, something that will make us feel all right. Babe, look at me now. I'm ready. <laughs> I trust What's you. What's it? You're ready. Millionaire. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Of course. I like cheers to that, man. Mm. Mm. More money to us. Amen. <laughs> okay. Just take it, okay? Oh, oh, yes. Okay. okay. Come on! It's not hot, you just have to all see. Here you go. Okay, okay let's. Let's go. Okay. Oh, well, I'm here to make you happy. Yeah. Where <laughs> are you? Where are you going? Hey, bro. Hey. Hey. So, but the girls giving you a hard time? Ah, <sighs> no, no. They're not giving me a hard time. I mean, they want to have sex as it is, but you know, I, I just don't think it's appropriate. Appropriate? Yes. What's what's the meaning of that? I mean, we are married men, and we're not supposed to be having sex with other women. Says who? You know, I have never cheated on my wife. <laughs> Hey, 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 Clarence, Clarence, Clarence. 
Let me clarify something here. Are you really a lucky big boy and a millionaire? Yeah, what does that have to do with anything? It's got a lot to do with everything. I mean, look at the way you're sounding. Huh? If you truly are who you say you are, you can't be sounding like this. But, um... There are no buts, Clarence. Lucky big boys make money. We allow people. This is how we enjoy ourselves, with the best girls that money can buy. Daughters of Eve. That makes us happy. Okay? This is without our families. This is us enjoying ourselves. You need to know this if you really are who you claim you are. Yeah. Clarence, I am very, very disappointed in you. Really disappointed. And I'll tell you this. I am beginning to regret ever wanting to do business with you. Because you have shown me by every clarification and by every action that you have put out today in this place that you are not a lucky big boy. I'm disappointed. Excuse me. Hey, sweetie. Let's go to the jacuzzi. Come with me. Exactly. Hey, we're waiting for you. You don't want to waste your life. <laughs> drink on, girl. Oh. Drink. Wait, wait. Just drink. Drink, drink, wait, drink, drink. Wait, wait. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's sweet. <laughs> It what is this? Good. What Something is that will make you feel good. Ooh. You see yourself in everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Come drink Good. Very good. Vera. Vera. I'm ready. husband has been dropped. Only I have the antidote to revive him in an hour. You don't give me what I want in one hour, your husband dies permanently. Do you understand? Yes. Now, I want a hundred million naira, and you will give it to me. I will take you to the bank. Do you understand my, what I'm saying to you? Listen to my instructions very clearly. I'm going to take you to the bank from here. You'll give me a hundred million naira. We'll smile, we'll, walk, we'll shake hands, and we'll end it all. If you fail to do that, for me, in an hour, your husband dies, and then you know what I'm going to do to you? I will lick off your head, off your pretty body, and I'll feed it to the vultures. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Sylvester, please. I don't have a hundred million naira. I don't even have one thousand naira. Shishi, I grow up. Can, can you just keep quiet? Can you keep short? See, see, let me tell you. We are both kidnappers, so you have to cooperate with us, or else we will kill you and your husband. So cooperate, okay? See, listen, my brother, my sister, let, let, me, let me tell you the whole truth. Look, you see me and my husband here. We are coming from Ian Opaja. Ian Opaja, we don't have any money. Even the car is on loan. They have one living in I don't even understand how we are even managing it. <laughs> Jesus! We are coming from where? Ian Opaja. Ian Opaja. <laughs> so you deceived me. You deceived me and played up to me. I will kill you and I'll kill your husband. Anyway, your husband is already dead. I will kill you and I'll feed you to the vultures. Catherine. We came to the island to form, please. Do you know, That's why we came friends with you guys. Keep quiet, keep quiet. See, do you know what? Don't even call me Catherine. My name is not even Catherine. Yeah. And him, he's not my husband. He's my brother. So you need to cooperate with us now. Please. Oh my God.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Grace, Grace. Ah, my sister. <laughs> that is how it happened though. So, how are you managing? Well, the reason why I came to your shop is to ask your mama Felicia's various contribution. I've not heard from you yet now. My dear, I did not forget. Eh? Just that sales has been very, very poor. I've not been able to restock my shop since Vera came here to buy things on credit. Vera? Eh? Vera? Yes. yes. Vera came to your shop and bought things on credit. My dear, it's been over three months now. And she's owing me okay. 225,000 in this condition. I can't believe it. This same Vera is also owing me 70,000 Naira. She came to my store, bought things on credit three times. She, she, she has not paid me. She's claiming, oh, you live on mainland and I live on the island, so... Wait, 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 wait. She owes you too. Uh -uh. Mm. My sister, we are not the only one she's owing. <laughs> she's owing Alex and uh, Justina. They said if they should catch her anywhere. Hello, oh, Jesus Lord. You know what to do to her. So, Vera cocoons herself in Lekki and enjoys <sighs> life. Why I sleep myself here from morning to night? Because of her. Okay. My sister. No problem. Take things easy. I'm on my way to my shop. No problem. You guys can settle you, your... Um, don't, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Eh? Eh? <laughs> okay. Do you want to die? Answer me, Sylvester. You need to pay an idiot six million naira for nothing? This is something we have never done in any of our operations before. Do you want to die with your sister? I'm sorry, boss. We had no idea they were hustlers. You know, not with the kind of car they drove and the way they carried themselves in the estate. I don't care. Look, I want my money back with interest. Otherwise, I'm going to kill your sister first and feed her body to you. Then I'll kill you! But what must I do? Uh, uh, look, Sylvester, I don't believe those people are not rich. Alright? How were they able to pay for a year's rent? Why you only pay for two months to survey the estate? I don't know. I just don't know, boss. Uh, go to the apartments right now. Alright? I believe there must be something valuable to recover there. Yes. I already have their car keys and I have their the keys to the apartment. Good, good. Move the car to my compound and leave it there. All right? Okay. Uh, it's a new car. My my mechanic will help me repaint and redesign it so I can sell it something close to the current value. Okay. Now move. Okay, boss. I want to hear good news today. Boss. Move. Excuse me, sir. Um, good day, sir. Good day, good day, gentlemen. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. Um, sir, please, what is uh, Mr. Clarence and the wife? Oh, well, uh, Mr. Clarence and his wife are hanging out with my wife. We're all having a great time today, you see. I have come to his apartment to come and get uh, some drinks. Okay? Okay, sir. I'm in deep trouble. These people have nothing here. How am I going to pay? How am I going to pay the boss's money back? These idiots are going to die tonight. Before I die, these idiots are going to die. Die tonight! Die tonight! Um, excuse me, excuse me. 
I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. What, 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 what do you have in the bag? My friend, why are you harassing me? Huh? Why are you making me look like a stranger in this estate? Sir, with due respect, I'm not harassing you. I'm only doing my job. You are doing your job, okay? But I told you that I came here to get personal effects for my friend Clarence and his wife Vera, and they are waiting for me right now. Moment ago, you told me you were here to pick up some drinks for you and your friend. Now, personal things. I, I don't get. What the hell is this? What is wrong with you guys? I am telling you that I came here to get personal effects for my friends, okay? Listen, I live in this estate and I have privileges, okay? I have privileges. Like I told you, Mr. Clarence and his wife asked me to get these things for them and I've got and I have to go now. As much as you have privileges, we understand. We also have our own duty. That's to protect lives and properties of this estate. So sir, all you just have to do for us is call Mr. Clarence on phone for confirmation. Then we'll let you go, that's all. And you think they'll pick up the phone? Huh? They'll pick up the phone? People who are in the club that are drinking, that are dancing. Listen, we'll be back in the morning. Okay, when we come back tomorrow, we'll sort this out. Club, by this time of the day? Sir, you're not moving an inch. Before we allow you to step out of here, you have to call Mr. Clarence. Oh, sir. No, we will do the, call we'll do the call ourselves. You know what? I'm not going to waste my time on this. The two of you, the two of you are clowns. Ah! You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. No, You're not going anywhere. No, You're not going anywhere. Back up from the car. No way. No way. We'll get some evidence. Try to listen to us. We're not crazy. We're not crazy. Officer, please listen to us. Listen, look at me. I don't want to give you another one. Sylvester so lied against us yes. just because he, he, he arrested him and he wants to now implicate us. That, that, that's just it. Shut up! You are caught. Police has already confessed that you are a bunch of kidnappers. Ah. You are a team of kidnappers. You better shut up and allow us to do our job. Me. Eh? Tell me. Did you hear me? Tell me, please. Tell me, talk to the officers, please. We are being dragged into something we know nothing about. Sylvester and his wife kidnapped us because they thought we are rich. They kidnapped us. Please. Eh? I use the name of God and beg you, don't call my name in this matter at all. If not for the extra vigilant security that we have in this estate, that caught Mr. Sylvester driving out of this compound with your car before they called the police on him and he confessed that you people did business and you tried to dupe him out of the business. Why? Because madam, we madam, off. we are going to seal this apartment and every other apartment, all those accomplices stay in until our investigations are over. Eh? Yes. So I won't rent this place Officer, out. Officer, move them in. I need evidence. Sir, are you saying that we can't rent this place out? Wait now. Sir, move inside. Inside. Madam. We won't rent this place out. Inside. Ah, my boss will kill me. Are you saying that we can't rent this place out? Move. 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 Vera! Mama Kichi? Yes, it is me in the flesh. We heard about everything you and your husband went through after you moved to Neki. In fact, your story was the major item on everybody's lips for a very long time. How is your husband? My husband left me soon after we were released from jail, after spending four years there. That is very sad. Yes, it is. I guess I had to learn the hard way that patience is everything that leads to happiness. Yes, so you can say that again. We moved to our own house last year. Your own house? Yes, so. I didn't know that all this while I was actually making life miserable for my husband. He was actually saving on getting a land towards building us our own house. It's actually a small house at Sikotsun. Anyway, it's still our own house. And we have made a steady growth as a family. Anyway, my sister, patience truly pays. It truly pays. Uh, so, Mama Keshi. What are you doing here? I... Oh, this is... Yeah, welcome. Hey, welcome. I came to see my younger sister. Yeah. She has been in the U.S. for 14 years. 
she introduced me to a restaurant in the US and I supplied them crayfish. <laughs> and the business is really, really going well and it's giving me plenty, plenty money. <laughs> Uh, sis, um, do you know her? Yeah, my my neighbor. I told you that she and her husband they moved to Lekki. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. oh yeah. never mind. Um, Vera, huh? I don't know why this place is like this. I don't know why you've been wasting your time outside. You have the toilet to clean. Remember, please, just be fast. Oh, oh. I've missed you.